Hello and welcome to Castles and Legends. Today we're going back in time, much further than we normally do, to about 3000 BC, to Bella's Nap, a very fine example of a Neolithic chambered long barrow. Now, just behind me, it looks like this should be the entrance, but actually it is a false entrance. The entrance to the chambers are actually round the side. Why we have a false entrance? Well, opinions are divided. Some say it could be to stop grave robbers, but back then there wasn't a lot of valuables in these graves. And others say it could be a spirit door, so the spirits of those that are buried within can come and go as they please. Let's go and take a look though, just round the side to where the actual entrance to the chambers are. Excavations in the 1860s discovered six skeletons, including five infants that were thought to be from the early Bronze Age, under the false entrance. The barrow has a trapezoid mound and is rather unusually orientated north to south. It measures about 170 feet long, 60 feet wide and nearly 14 feet in height. We are currently in one of the four burial chambers they have discovered here and in total 38 human skeletons have been discovered. Although Bella Snap seems in good condition, this is the result of several restorations. The chambers were originally topped by limestone slabs and formed with dry stone walls. The roof slabs have been replaced with concrete for stability, but the dry stone walls are still in place. The views from the top of the mound, which you can see here, are really rather good. We visited at dusk, which really emphasised the site's secluded atmosphere. The southeastern chamber, which we're coming up to, had the smallest entrance. If you want to take a look inside, you have to get down on your hands and knees and crawl. When excavated, the remains of two males and two females, along with animal bones and flint artefacts were found inside. The next chamber, the northeastern, contained 12 burials. During excavations, a curious circle of flat stones were discovered on top of the mound, although they have since been removed, and what function the stones performed is still a mystery. Many of the skeleton remains and other artefacts from Bellasnap can be seen in the nearby Winchcombe Museum. Bellasnap is also only a 10 minute drive away from the beautiful Sudley Castle, which we explored in our last video. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed our video. Please do give us a like if you have and subscribe if you've not already. And I'll see you again very soon on our next adventure. Bye!